Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to perform regular maintenance on your A1 Mini and I also have some tips for you at the end of the video, so let's get right into it. After about 100 printing hours or so, you'll get a notification to loop your y-axis rails. This would also be a good time to loop the other axis rails as well. So let's start with the y-axis rails. Now before we get started, make sure to store away your plate since you don't want any oil or grease near your plate. Now you can just use the lubricant in this tube that you get from Bamboo Lab, but I recommend to get the lubricant from Super Lube and a small squeeze bottle with a metal tip like this. Then fill the squeeze bottle in with some lubricant. Wipe the y-axis rails with a paper towel to clean it. You can also use a microfiber cloth and wet it with isopropyl alcohol. Make sure to wipe the backside of the rails as well. Then you want to print this helper tool. Apply the lubricant to the rails and use the helper to help spread the oil. Then move the bed back and forth a few times. Next, let's do the z-axis rails. Move the print head all the way down and clean the rails. Apply the lubricant and use the tip of the helper tool to spread it along the groove of the rails. Apply a few drops of lubricant on top of that rail as well. Then move the print head up and down a few times. Applying the lubricant to the upper part of the x-axis rail is rather easy, but it's a bit tricky to do the underside of it. I got this syringe with a metal tip and I ground the tip with a sandpaper to make it slightly less pointy. Draw some lubricant into the syringe and push the plunger gently while moving it from one side to the other. Use the helper tool to help spread the lubricant. Now let's apply some lubricant to the idler pulley, then move the print head a few times. To clean the lead screw, let's first remove the top covers of the z-axis. I'm just going to use a paper towel that I cut to strips like this and then I wet it with some isopropyl alcohol. Then loop it around the lead screw and move it back and forth while going up and down. Use as many strips of paper towel as necessary until there's no leftover grease or sediment. Just be gentle and don't put too much pressure while doing it. Then you want to get this super loop grease and reapply it to the lead screw using this tool here. Move the print head up and down, and then put everything back together. Now let's clean the fence of our A1 Mini. Take the front cover off to get access to the hot and cooling fan. And just use an air blower to blow off the dust or any small filament pieces. Don't forget to clean the fan that's underside of this part here as well. While the cover is off, let's also clean the extruder from any foreign materials. First, let's undo these both screws here and gently pull out the AMS hub unit. Since this part is off, you can take this opportunity to clean the filament sensor by undoing these screws here to reveal the sensor board. Then just use the air blower to clean it. Then undo these screws here and take this part out. Push the cutter lever inward and hold it down while you undo this screw here to loosen it. 
This is also a good time to check if there is any wear on your cutter blade and replace if necessary. I have a lot of spare blades, so let's replace that with the new one. Use your air blower to blow off the dust or any filament pieces. To put everything back together, do everything in reverse. Just make sure that you slide the blade into this small opening first before installing back the cutter lever. Before starting a print, you want to make sure that your plate is clean from any grease. You can wipe your plate with isopropyl alcohol and this tool here can come in handy. Just attach a piece of microfiber cloth, wet it with IPA and wipe the plate before each print. It's also a good practice to clean your plate with dish soap every now and then. It is in fact the best method to clean your plate from any grease. I do this every month or so or when I touch the plate too much. Speaking of which, when bending the plate to remove your print, avoid touching the printing area with your hands as best as you can. Try to only grab the sides of the plate instead. I do this every time I remove my prints so I don't have to clean my plate that often. Doing this regularly will prevent any adhesion issues and worse, the blob of death. If you want to keep your rails of your A1 Mini away from dust, make sure to check out these prints here. These are covers that you can use to cover your X-axis rails, Y-axis rails, and Z-axis rails. Before you turn off your A1 Mini, make sure to home your Z-axis first so that the print head will get in a position where you can then place the Z-axis cover properly. To cover the x-axis rails, just move the print head all the way to the right and slide this cover here right in. To cover the y-axis rails, just move the bed all the way to the back and slide this cover here right in. So those are regular maintenance practices you should perform on your printer and some tips to keep your printer clean. If you find this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and drop a comment to help the channel out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.